Hey everyone, Micah here with the Disney Time Podcast. And on today's episode, got some pin mail. All right, so I ordered a, a set of 50 random pins from a seller. It says no duplicates. They, they say they're all supposed to be legit Disney pins. You know, the thing is I ordered it like early September and the, and the post office sent this thing clear across the country, actually like halfway around the world. It went, ended up in Guam for some reason. It went, started in South Carolina, ended up in Guam, and then finally reached me here in California. So I've got my 50 pins here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through them and then we're gonna separate out some keeper pins that I'm gonna keep because I like them. <laughs> and then some trader pins that maybe you guys want to trade with me. If you do, you know, you can drop me a line, like either leave me a comment or I've got in my about page email address, as well as you can hit me up on Instagram, uh, in the DM, I have uh, an account at Disney Time Podcast. Check us out on Instagram as well. So without further ado, here's my uh, collection of pins right here. I've got this guy, Mike Wazowski. I haven't seen something like with a black outline like this. It's like it's got a gunmetal gunmetal color backing. Kind of interesting to me. Interesting Disney Pixar uh, selection and the way they, they drew him, his outline and stuff. I'm gonna put that in my trader pile. Um, I'll probably show you later the whole pile of the trader pile. So stay tuned for that. So let's take a look at the next pin here in my stack. Wow, this one is really cool. So <laughs> um, I didn't know that this is Pinocchio, right? So it's a really interesting looking Pinocchio. It's got this like red outline on it. And oh, this is actually from Hong Kong Disneyland. So, you know, this is kind of rare for me to see actual international parks pins. So here's one Pinocchio, Hong Kong Disneyland. I'm gonna actually put this in my keeper pile because I'm, I might actually start keeping these international ones that I find here because I don't have very many international pins. So I'll start collecting them now. That Pinocchio is going there. All right, this looks like a standard like cast member lanyard pin. It's a cup and it's Olaf design. So I'm keeping putting that in my trader pin. Trader pin pile right there. All right, here's, here's one. This really looks interesting. It uh, says Magical Mystery Pin Set Series 7 and it's Piglet. It's like a round piglet. I mean, I love Winnie the Pooh and all and all the characters, but this piglet is gonna end up in my trigger pile. All right, let's take a look here. It looks like a Chum Chum. This looks like a Chum Chum Chip. Uh, chip? Yeah, Chum Chum Chip. I, I prefer the real Chum Chums, <laughs> so. I'm gonna put that in my trader pile as well. And then let's take a look at this. Ooh, what is this? This is like an egg shaped Donald Duck. Very interesting. So it's not really blue. I mean, it's like metallic blue. Oh wow, this also came from Hong Kong Disneyland. So yeah, I'm probably gonna keep this too. Add it to my Pinocchio right there. This is a interesting egg shaped Donald Duck. What's next? Let's see. So I've got Ariel looks like a pretty standard Ariel. What I like about this seller is he put he put them all in individual plastic baggies, so the pins don't like scratch against each other. They are all in the plastic, so I like that about how he shipped it. It took some he took some care to shipping them out. Oh, I haven't seen this in a long time. So this pin here is the Mickey head with like you know different character from around the world, I think it was supposed to be the concept. I haven't seen one of these since 2012. <laughs> when I was working in uh, at Disney World, I actually had one of these on my cast lanyard, so I'm not collecting that, putting that in my trader pile. And then, oh, here's a 101 Dalmatians one right here. It's a Mickey Mouse, Mickey head, 101, supposed to represent 101 Dalmatians. That's going in my trader pile. Teacup for one, maybe? <laughs> It's, um, this is Snow White in the teacup. I'm not collecting these. If you are, hit me up. Got that. And it looks like 
I've got this thing. I don't even know what this is, but I think it's supposed to be chip also. I'm not sure what series this guy is. It's like deconstructed chip, but it's cool. I'm not keeping it though. I'm putting it in my trader pile. <laughs> and this looks like a chum chum, but it's the Barker Bird chum chum. I mean, it's cool and all, but I ha if you remember my other video, I had a unboxing of a Wishable and the Barker Bird was in there. That's for Disneyland's 65th anniversary. So I have the actual Wishable plush and so I'm not gonna keep that guy. Oh, look at this thing. All right, this is Stitch. You know, I think this might actually, because of the coloring, it's not really a real bluish thing. I think this, oh yeah, there it is. On the back, it says it's from Hong Kong Disneyland. So this, I think is part of that same collection of the Donald Duck that I just added to my keeper pile. So I'm gonna add this to my keeper pile too, because that stitch, this stitch is really cool. So I'm gonna add it to my keeper piles. International keeper pile right there. All right, so here's another standard Mickey shaped head, but it's a Minnie Mouse. I'm throwing this into my trader pile. And, oh, Stitch. This is a Stitch head trader pile. I don't really want to collect that. <laughs> okay, so these are the quotes. This is a, like, you know, funny quotes, um, pins. Cast member pin that says, I'm not fishing for a compliment. It's Ariel. Trader pile. And, uh, oh, here we go. This is a um, Vinylmation. I have actual real Vinylmations, like the vinyls. So I'm not gonna keep this guy. I'm gonna put it in the trader. I'm not sure what this one represents. It's got a bow tie, black bow tie with a white. If you guys know what that is, let me know, because I'm, I'm not even sure what that is. All right, oh, this is really interesting. So it's the Cheshire Cat, and this one is really cool. I mean, it looks like a Choon, but it's kind of, this is a kind of a big pin. Oh, and it's from Disneyland Paris. So I think I'm gonna keep this guy because it's from Disneyland Paris and I don't think I have any pins from Disneyland Paris. So I'm gonna keep this one, keep that in my keeper pile. So, oh, here is standard uh, zebra stripe Mickey Mouse head. That's going in my trader pile. Let me know if you're looking for those. I've got it. And let's see, what else do I have here? Wow, this is cool. So it's got a gold backing and it's a pirate ship. It's like a green pirate ship with a gold backing. Very interesting looking thing. I might keep this one. Oh, this is limited edition. Oh, I think I hit the jackpot. I got a limited edition pin here with my trader pile. Um, it says it's out of 300, which is, I've never seen that before. I mean, I've never seen this before. And it says here, Grand Opening, Shanghai Disney Resort. Who, bingo. It's from Shanghai, the latest park that opened. So I'm gonna keep this. And hopefully there's more in the set, in the, the, the pile here from Shanghai Disney. Uh, let's see, I mean, maybe there is. So I'm gonna add this to my keeper collection. And, oh, lo and behold, I just found something. It's It's got the gold backing as well. It's gold back. It looks like a mountain or like a volcano. Maybe this is one of the mountains at Shanghai Disney. But let me know. I don't even know. I've, nev I've never seen this mountain. It might be one of the mountains at Shanghai Disney. So this is also a limited edition of 300. Grand opening Shanghai Disney Resort. Bingo. So that goes with the, um, the pirate ship. So I think they're supposed to represent icons for the park. So this is probably one of the mountains and the pirate ship might represent the Pirates of the Caribbean ride that they came out with over there. One of the most advanced technologies that they've, they've had in a park, in a theme park. So really cool stuff, really cool stuff. Oh, finally, there's a Star Wars that popped up here. I think they're, nope, I haven't shown a Star Wars one yet. This is the first order, uh, first order pin. I'm gonna put this in my trader pile. You guys are trying to collect some Star Wars. Got Star Wars right there. And this is another standard. This is the Mickey Mouse with its mouth open, red with the black background. So if you guys are trying to collect that series as well, I'm putting this in my trader pile as well. That's Mickey Mouse. And let's see what else I got here. I've got this, this is really cool. 
This is the, it's a metallic Hidden Mickey series Epcot logo. Usually I like the really colorful version of this because it's got like different like red and the yellow and the, I, I, I like the multicolor one, but that's the Epcot logo. Put it in the trader pile. And as much as I love Star Wars, I'm gonna put this one in the trader pile too. It looks like a snowflake, but it's like Boba Fett around the outside and then the inside is the Empire's logo. So yeah, there's that too. I'm going to put this in the trader pile if you guys want to trade for it. And what else did I have here? Ooh, this is cool too. This is kind of like the Pinocchio. So I'm gonna assume this guy, this is, this is Dale. So I've got Dale, I know it's Dale. It's got the red nose, right? So it's Dale Robot, but I think it's from Hong Kong Disneyland. Yes, this is from Hong Kong Disneyland. Um, so it's got the same, it's got the, you know, similar thing with the outline and the robot, like the Pinocchio. I'm gonna keep this one. It's from Hong Kong Disneyland. Like I said, I don't really have too many international pins. So when I see them, I'm trying to collect them. So there you go, I'm gonna put it together with the Pinocchio. And then let's take a look at this. It's just the Nerd Goofy. I don't know if you guys are, if you guys are into the Nerd ones, it's Nerd Goofy right there, I'm putting in my trader pile as well. Now, let's see what else. This has uh, got a gold back too, but it's not from Shanghai. This is just says Hakuna Matata. If you have no worries, you, you know, just no worries for the rest of your days. Here you go, you want it? I got it for trade. And Tinkerbell, looks like a standard Tinkerbell. Um, got it, I'm gonna put it as a trader pin as well. Let's see, it's like a Jawa. You know, there you go. It's a Chum Chum. Star Wars Chum Chum. Let's put it up for trade as well. And let's take a look here. That's cool. This is one of Ariel's sisters, I believe. Yeah. Another cast member trader pin. I think it's supposed to go with this Ariel. Like, I think that's part of the same series. Cool, but you know, it's not, it's not my thing. So I'm gonna put it in the trader pile as well. And Oh, it's a cool series. This is the Mouth of the Villains series. This is Scar, Scar's Mouth. Um, so I'm putting this in the trader pile, if you guys are interested. I think there's another one. I think I saw another one like that. Yes, right here. So the same thing, except this one's Maleficent. So if you're into that series, you need it, let me know. All right, what else do I got? So, Orange Bird, look at this. This is an Orange Bird Chum Chum. I'm not really collecting the Chum Chums because I really like the plush Chum Chums. I don't really like the pin Chum Chums. This is Orange Bird. If you guys need need or want an Orange Bird, I would have it for trade also. Oh, this is an interesting Jack Skellington right here. This is uh, also from Disneyland Resort Paris. So Disneyland Paris. Um, if you got, I'm actually gonna put this up for a trader pin because I don't really, it's too simple and it's just, it's just a Jack Skellington and I don't know. If you want a Jack Skellington from Disneyland Resort Paris, you let me know because I got one right there. The tree. All right. So, all right, here's a, ooh, this looks like another Vinylmation. It's got a pink bow. So I'm assuming this is for, uh, Marie? I don't know. It could be Marie. It might be Marie because I mean, I have another one here. This one definitely is probably Marie. This is a, I guess it's a popsicle with a pink bow. So I'm guessing it's Marie, but who knows, man? I don't know. I'm just gonna put it together with the other vinyl, with the vinyl nation. All right, so now let's take a look at this. This is cool. Um, this is a limited release. It says on the back, it's a Pluto lock. Maybe I'll keep this because it's a, it says limited release on it. So this one, I'm gonna keep this guy. It's a Pluto lock. So this looks like a standard uh, Mickey head, but it's Donald Duck. I'm putting this up for trade as well. I'll put that up for trade too. And this is just like a flower. I, I saw this in the pile. It's just a flower. I'm putting it in the trader pile. And I'm also gonna put this cutie Minnie Mouse in the trader pile as well. So this is really interesting, this Mickey Mouse too. I think this is part of that same egg series from Hong Kong. So let's take a look at the, let's take a look at what it says on the back here. So it does say Hong Kong Disneyland on the back. So 
As you can tell, it's like amber. It's not really black, the coloring here, and it's like metallic red. So I'm thinking that's the, the theme. It's like a, like a metallic flake for the clothing and like pearl, supposed to be pearl white. It's, it's really cool, it's like an egg series. I'm gonna put that there in my keeper pile. So it looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi Chum Chum pin. I'm gonna put this up for trade as well. I don't, I don't think I've, I've kept any of the Star Wars ones yet, so I don't know if I will. Any of the Star Wars guys. So I've got this uh, Mickey Mouse, there's three color Mickey Mouse, red, white, and blue. He's walking, it's a walking Mickey Mouse. I don't think it's Run Disney. Run Disney usually says Run Disney on it. This one doesn't say it anywhere. So it's a walking Mickey Mouse, red, white, and blue. Put that in the trader pile. And this is a cool metallic Pascal. I think I'm gonna put this in the trader pile as well. It's got the hidden Mickey on it. So if you guys are looking for this metallic Pascal for your collection, hit me up. That's in the trader pile. So there's this skull and crossbones. It looks like a Mickey Mouse themed skull and crossbones. I'm also gonna put this in the trader pile. And there's this Eve. I'm gonna put this in the trader pile as well. This is to trade, it's Eve right there. So I think the last three here that I have, I'm actually gonna keep. I'm gonna put them in the to keep pile. It's very interesting because they have, two of these have like a blue backing on them. Like it was painted blue. It, it's not a standard metallic color. It's blue, so it's really interesting when I was looking at him. There's this Mickey Mouse, he's like chilling in the ch lounge chair and he's got a drink. So I'm su assuming something has to do with chilling. It actually says Disney Vacation Club on the back. Disney Vacation Club, huh? It's a DVC pin. Interesting. All right, this is a DVC pin. <laughs> So there was another one in this pile. It's a DVC pin right there. That's Mickey relaxing. So yeah, I don't, have you guys seen any of those DVC pins with the blue? Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen them like that with the blue. Uh, usually the DVC pins are standard pins that are that you know that we sell that says DVC. So here's another one. This is Mickey having a hard time with the luggage. It's another DVC pin. I'm assuming. Let's see on the back. The back says Disney Vacation Club, Vacation Club as well. Oh, it's kind of fading on the ears. But yeah, it's a it's a DVC pin right there. Mickey Mouse pulling, pulling on the uh, luggage. So that's gonna go on my two keep pile, even though <laughs> I am not a DVC member. I'm gonna keep it. Maybe there are DVC members out there that are watching this. Maybe you want one of those. If you don't have them yet, let me know. Maybe I'll be up to trading those too. All right, final pin. It's a very interesting looking pin. It says D Blue Team. It's a circle. And I'm gonna keep this one. You know why? Because the back says Disneyland Paris. So there must be a story to this D Blue Team for Disneyland Paris. I don't know what it is. If you're a Disneyland Paris regular, or you know people who work there, or you know you were, or you are, or were a former cast member, or are a cast member, Maybe you can tell me what this is about, D Blue Team. There has to be, there's gotta be a story to this D Blue Team thing here. I mean, when I when I think of the color thing, I, I usually think about the orange or green sides for mission space, you know? Um, so is that something to do with this D Blue Team? I don't know, I'll either, I'll look it up though. So I'm gonna find out about this. All right, so. Those were all my pins. I'll get you some close up of the trader pins. So just if there's something you see in this pile and you want, pause the video, let me know which one. Maybe you can do a trade. Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my pins that I just received in the mail. It was a long time coming before I got them. Finally got them and I'm happy with them because I've got nine international pins, but I'm keeping 12 pins. Let me know what you guys thought, what your thoughts are, what's your favorite. Leave me a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. 
And also, don't forget to keep your watches synced to Disney time. See ya.